For two centuries, the adventures have unspooled, like colorful threads sewing together stories of wreckers and riders, rum runners and refugees. It's unlike any place else you've ever been. It's that simple. After 200 years, the pull of the Florida Keys continues like a current in the sea. A home for exhibitions, parades, contests of all kinds, a literary seminar that attracts thousands. The sheer beauty of the land continues to inspire books, television, and movies. The scenery is so amazing, and it all is filmed all, you know, right here. It's amazing to sit there and watch your home, you know, on screen. It is an escape to the very edges of our nation. You're far enough away that you're at a distance and yet you're still, you're still in it. You know? So you get this interesting sense of context on, on the country. A place where history is part of the landscape. An ongoing tale of restoration and renewal. The railroad's old seven mile bridge brought back to life. New generations at the church built by Sandy Cornish and the hope it represents. At the center of everything is nature in a starring role as people try to ensure the future of the ocean, the fish, the turtles, and the coral reefs. The Florida Keys will always be a place for simple pleasures. Key lime pie, the perfect cup of Cuban coffee. And each night, people gather by the shore to watch the sun like ribbons of gold as it dips below the horizon. A moment of shared happiness uniting them all. From Key Largo to Sugarloaf, Marathon to Mallory Square. It's hard to tell a Key West story. It's hard to tell an Alamorada story or a Key Largo or a Marathon story. This is one long, one giant community. The writer in me likes to, you know, weave these stories to tell a bigger story. There really are Florida Key stories.